Hello everyone, and welcome back to EU4 on Lord Farmed. And uh, we've got a new series here. This is on the Leviathan update. So I have gone through and I've looked at and played quite a few of the countries in the Southeast Asian area. And out of them, the only ones I seemed particularly interested in were the Chimer and Pigu. But I already have um, any achievements one can get is the Chimer. Uh, however, I have not yet played as Pigu here. Um, Pegu, and I have two achievements we're going to be going for. We're going to be going for Sailor Mon, have 100,000 sailors, and that's no Mon, as Pegu have 50 provinces that are not of the Mon culture. So that's the goal. We'll see if I survive. Um, we may grab any, uh, if we can, we'll get some of these other achievements, but uh, for now, we're going to play as these guys. So we start with five provinces. We have actually two great project monuments here. We have a palace that we can upgrade to get cheaper advisor reputation and relations, which will be nice. And we have <coughs> uh, this pagoda here, which gives us unrest. And if completed, gives us yearly legitimacy and karma. So uh, we will definitely be trying to upgrade those. They take... Uh, uh, I think it's uh, 1,000 gold each, so they are expensive. So we start in a relatively bad position, so we are going to try and figure out how to succeed as these guys. Um, I have not played them before, so be aware that this is pretty much an entirely fresh game. Fortunately, I can't even send out my merchants. Um, so according to the mission tree, our biggest threat to, well, actually, I can, it wants us to develop stuff, but apparently our biggest threat is to the north, the Burmans, Ava up here has conquered a lot of this area, and so the goal is we either have to kill Ava, or we have to conquer one of their two tributaries down here. Um, we're going to try and find allies where we can, I don't know if we're going to have many, and it's been a while since I've been playing, I've been practicing somewhat lately, but I'm not entirely comfortable with the game after such a break. Uh, for those of you who did vote in the poll um, for what series, uh, you'll know that European Colonizer won the poll, but after looking at the update and examining it, I did not find the European changes to be large enough to justify doing a series on right now. Plus, I had just been practicing playing as Spain. So I really wasn't in the mood to play Spain again, which is, I think, the only colonizer other than Norway I need an achievement as in terms of colonizing. So the plan is I'll play this for now. Uh, hopefully we'll get these two achievements. It should take most of the game to get a uh, 100,000 sailors. Um, I'm going to have to conquer a mass amount of land. And then at that point, if people are interested, I'll run a poll again. And if I, I'll put Spain as one. I'll actually do countries then rather than areas. And Spain will be one of them. Um, so, uh, who do we want to ally? Somebody else who hates Ava. Uh, these guys don't really like us either. They're going to get killed early on. Uh, we can't become a tributary of the Ming, sadly. We could ally some of Ava's tributaries. That way, if they do invade us, they're going to be fighting their own tributaries. Um, I need to become slightly better friends with a Yutthaha, because they're right on my borders and they're stronger. Sorry, I'm doing my standard just overly talk at the start of a series, so I'll try and stop that. Um, and uh, I guess improve relations with neighbors. Hopefully this works. I hadn't touched this game up until last week for almost a, uh, a year, so. Um, let's quick seize land and then do all this granting of stuff. Um, right of council. Huh, monastic temples, interesting. I don't want to lose the absolutism though, so. Oversight by the monastic orders. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then we're going to do tropical city planning, which basically now will take the place of... Um, oh, they got rid of it. That makes sense. Like, uh, free enterprise. It's basically the same thing as free enterprise, but it doesn't cost absolutism and gives my cities cheaper development. 
So I think I think we're good on that point. Let's see what we can do. So we've got an ally there. We'll get another ally there. And I guess I'll ally these guys. Oh, they validate these guys. I enjoy. Um. Okay. We have too few rivals. So right now we have a rivalry versus these guys, but everybody would defend them. So, um... Having a bit of an income issue, which is unfortunate. That might help a bit. We're gonna lose our alliance with these guys. Why? Oh, they allied one of my rivals. Okay. This is not a good start. <laughs> like, this is not a fun start at the moment. Uh, maybe I can get Bengal as an ally. If I can get Bengal as an ally, I'll be pretty happy because they should be able to take on almost anybody in the area. Karma, karma, karma. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. So we are Buddhists. So we do have to deal with all the delightful fun of keeping our karma stable. We will be doing centralization when we get the chance, but for now, we don't want to do anything. Um, what's our rulers look like? We have a good ruler and we have a good heir, who's actually older than our ruler. And it's got a strong claim. So the claims now go up over time, which is nice. Um, it's an, I like that change. So let's drill. we have two forts? No, we just have a fort. Okay. We are the biggest trade people in this node, but it's not a very good node. We want to get out of here pretty soon, I'd say. See where we can get that is more valuable. These guys are attacking quite a few people. They're attacking into that. The odds are they're going to win. Um, uh, we don't want to build the palace. I wonder if I could ally... I just gave these guys military access. Darn. I was thinking, I wonder if I could ally these guys and persuade them to attack with me, but... I would be attacking into a Ming tributary. So basically, I can't expand to the south east at all. Um, really kind of sucks. Um, that gone gets improved here. Okay, so what was our mission? Uh, develop those two. Let's just either go after Bengal or other stuff. We don't have a very long list here, but this is now cheaper to develop, so I'm tempted to spend some uh, Monarch points developing it while it's cheap. Seventeen, that'll do. Does not solve our issue, but it gets us closer, which is good. Why do we have corruption? Our ruler's an embezzler. Oh my gosh, that's not good. I suppose I could spend more monarch points there. We do want to cancel this when we get the chance. Um, let me turn down the game volume a little. There we go. Um, these guys actually don't hate me anymore, but they are hostile towards me. Can't get alliance with those guys. 
suppose I should fabricate a claim on these guys, but I don't think that's going to help. These guys are easily winning their war. Not good at all. Let's ally the Chimer. Obviously, we don't want to pick a fight with the Ming. Um, how do I make money? I see. Can't really do anything with trade. I suppose I could privateer, but that's just going to get me tons of enemies. Frustrating. Um, threatening countries. Sorry for any background noise. Could ally these guys. Ava would still defend them. If I were to attack these guys, their ally would not defend them. But I don't have a claim on them. And I don't think I can fabricate one. If I attack these guys, they're going to call them their allies, which aren't strong either. We might have a chance here. Um, if we attack these guys, 11k. Yeah, they're too strong right now. Uh, let's actually give these guys free enterprise. Actually, private trade fleets. We'll do that. That'll keep them happy. Okay. Trying to figure out how the heck we can expand. Um, we have to conquer lots of land. Uh, Giant fever. Fervently. Okay. We can train another unit. We could also centralize the province, which would be interesting, but we're not having issues with buildings at the moment. Probably not worth doing. Um, I guess I should train another unit. Might as well stay near force limit once I can afford it. Get a claim here. I wonder if I could invade them. Let's just check. Uh, they're cruel with war exhaustion. It's getting closer. If the war continues down south, we can probably do this safely. Um, I sure hope they succeed. I don't want uh, the white elephant guy here to expand. <laughs> He's getting slowly less likely. He's starting to lose the war finally, which is great. But I can't... It's not like I can attack him, because if silly the Ming will join. And that's death. I wish I could join the Ming as a tributary. <laughs> like, become their tributary. They will not accept. Yeah. You'd think I would improve my relationship with the Ming asking to become a tributary, but I guess not. Okay. That's getting closer, so we should stop drilling, rebuild my military, and hope that war drags on a little bit longer. Um, what's our karma? We want to remember we have to keep our karma under 30 th between the 33s negative and positive to get the full benefits. Not particularly easy. All we need is these guys to get more exhausted in the war and we've got a great chance of expanding. Of course, Bengal is also invading. No, these guys are attacking Bengal. What the heck is going on? 
Also, Renaissance just fired. Forty-six. Can that get any lower, please? Peace, darn. They just got peace. Oh, bother. Bother, 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 bother. Um. Okay, well, we're kind of stuck at the moment. Although these guys did just rival me, so let's counter-rival them. We could try to humiliate them. All in our ally. 12k versus 12k. Um, how many troops do they have? They only have 5k, so we could probably win that. Um... On the other hand, I could go after these guys. I don't really want to kill these guys, but they're so vulnerable to me. Um, it'll give us more troops. We don't have military lead. Let's fabricate claims on these guys. Not the biggest fan of doing so, but... We could pick up their provinces. That would be great. Um, let's take the money. <laughs> In all honesty, right now, the extra ducats to give us a military are going to be worth it. Okay. Can we do? I don't think we can pillage their capital, right? Let me just double check. I don't actually know how to do that yet, so we'll figure that out. These guys only have one ally. Oh! The white elephant has expanded and unfortunately hates me. We have a 5k, 13k, and then our own 12k. So if these guys come for us, we could probably survive. After all, they did just get fought to a standstill. But they have Miltech 4, we don't. And worse, Renaissance is fired. Honestly, at this point, I think once we get the mill tech, we're gonna we should plow some of our monarch points into our capital, and see if we can get uh, more development there. Okay, that would give me sixteen k. So let's send an insult first, lower the relations a bit, then we should be able to attack. August 6th. And oops, let's call in our allies first. So we should not only be at war with Prome itself, um, but Ava and Monyang, but we're gonna have Hispa and La Na on our side as well. Lan Na. We have a chance. I mean, it is only the first episode, so if I die, we'll just restart basically. So. <laughs> Won't be the end of the world. I'm worried about being behind in Miltek, though. Also, we've got the Mandala system, and all we have is trade bonuses, which sucks. Let's go for Ava's capital, I guess. Oh, shoot. That might have just cost us the war there. Yep. That probably just lost us the whole war. Oh, that sucks. Seriously? You fled the battlefield when we had a chance. There we go. Our allies fled the battlefield, even though we were going to win the fight. 
Okay. We have a shot now. I've caught up in Miltech. So now if we can take their capital. We've got a really good shot here. I'll take the admin. Almost all of our missions involve conquering stuff first, so... These guys are going to win their war versus Bengal, of all people. Wow, Bengal has just gotten flattened. This is a problem. These guys are not strong, but at the same time... Uh, could be a problem. Oh, it's rainy season. Actually, let's use that rainy season and try and get our capital developed, I think. Or this one. Uh, this is cheap, but we already spent a lot of Monarch points on it. Yeah, let's do this one. Fifty six, 59. More importantly, though, it's going to give us the income. Yeah, 88. There we go. We're no longer broke, or rather, as broke. We're still kind of broke. All we need is the capital. This rainy season spring fertility is really nice. 20% dev cost. Shoot, all my allies just got wiped. Um, so we can pillage their capital. We can almost make them a tributary. So we could humiliate them, pillage their land, and get war reparations, and get cash. Okay, so we stole development. We got power projection. Okay, and then we should be able to make peace here, right, for this? Not quite. So if I overrun these last countries here and then take this guy's land, we should be good. Um, let's do trade power because we're going to be a naval power at some point. Then we just basically have to wait here until we get enough to get the institution, which could take quite a while. Um, our karma at five. Once we take land, that's going to put us down, so we can build up karma right now to lose it later. We're going to loot these guys' capital if we win. Steal some more dev. Already we have a 30 development city, which is kind of crazy. Um, what did I do dev under? Sorry. Oh, that's dev. Look at our capital. Shining city um, of development. In the middle of a jungle. 6% um, to the renaissance. We've got a long way to go to max this out, though. Oh, thankfully, our, we had allies. <laughs> that's all I can say. Our allies proved to save us there. These guys are a tributary state. Maybe we should make them a tributary state of us. Not good enough. Okay, Mong Yong. We cannot pillage capital because I did not occupy it. But we can do war reparations and steer trade and transfer trade power. Okay, now we can actually take this province. So all of that for a tiny amount of province. A tiny little province. Does that get good enough? Oh, we have to also take out Tangu. They're going to be harder to kill. Oh well. One province, it's not a bad expansion. More importantly, we can support more troops. Quite a few more. Yeah. 
Although we don't have any manpower. Oops. Um... expanded. That's crazy. Outside of these guys, it's almost an equal fight. These guys like me now? What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna be friends with them if they like me. Um, I can't ally them, but as long as they don't hate me, I'm fine with that. Government reform. Let's do a, a par raja. Aparaja, Aparaja, <laughs> I have no idea. If you guys know how to say this, please let me know. Um, succession, we could either get more manpower, noble privileges, trader privileges, or we could get yearly prestige legitimacy, which solves that problem, and cl air claim increase. I think we'll try it. Might as well, right? Um, it should help there. All of our estates are not loyal, but if we summon them... Agree to that, and then we take land. Now we have 45. When do we get the penalties? Remember. Uh, let's try religious state. Okay, so it must be 30. So if we take land again, we can get other stuff. In the meantime, though, plus one admin power is really good. And of course, a goal here is to upgrade these monuments when we have the money, which we don't. It's probably going to be a long ways to go. Also, there is this one down here, um, which if we can get, would be awesome. Aggressive expansion reduction, vassal fort limit, absolutism, and governing capacity. Ridiculously broken uh, monument slash wonder slash great project. Paradox has got so many different names for all their countries, or all their monuments in every game now. Uh, probably two more development to go, so... Okay. Game wants me to develop this to five, so we're gonna have to divert production into that for sometime. Next level we'll have the Renaissance and we'll more importantly have a 41 development capital in 1455. That's pretty crazy. To be fair, we did... How much did we improve it by? 24? A bit expensive. Ah, uh, well. Getting the Renaissance and getting it out of the way will be a good thing. Um... I think that's all we can do. I don't think we... Yeah, we still haven't gotten the range needed to steal trade from uh, Chengdu. Pay them off. Do that. That's going to give me some cash. Good. What's our drill? Pretty good. Still can't get an alliance there. Turn this off. What are we doing time-wise? Oh, I've got to stop soon. Okay. Don't want to make you guys sit around for too long. Also, apparently I just got a ping on my phone, which should have been muted. Uh, oh, well. Uh, once the this truce is over, we're just going to invade these guys to the north. So I should probably make sure I have claims on them. Okay, I did remember to turn that off. I tend to forget to turn off state modifiers, which tends to hurt my economy, so. Glad I didn't make that mistake this time. This one's an interesting, you know, an interesting one. I think this one's going to be worth more right now, though, so... Any other... Great things nearby? I don't think so. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, how bad is it? Ugh. They're invading into those guys. Let me check how bad that's going to be. I wish there was a way to see what the war score sides were going to be. Into that. And it wants me to help. Uh, I guess we gotta help. Darn. Hopefully this doesn't cost us everything we just gained. Okay, let's try and take Ava out of the war. Oh, the Chimer's on our side. Okay. Yeah, we, sh we should have this, actually. Assuming we get military access through their lands. Um... Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to stop this here. Otherwise, this is just going to go on forever. Um, I will see you guys all in another episode. Um, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this series. If you don't, well, at some point, I'll stop doing it once I get the achievements, and we'll do a different one. Sound good? I'll see you guys all then. Bye for now.